OK, so today we're going to look at the concept of drawing with shapes. OK, and the idea of drawing with shapes comes from the idea that if I said, OK, we're going to try and draw this today, for a lot of people that would be quite an intimidating task um, because there's a lot of complex different parts of this landscape. You know, there's the detail with the foliage or the trees, um, there's the mountains in the background, there's a lot of stuff now that you could look at and say, well, I've got no idea how to get started with this. So that's where drawing with shapes come in. So drawing with shapes is just the, as the name implies, it's the really simple concept that if you don't know where to get started with a drawing, what you might do first of all is you might say, okay, well, are there any geometric shapes that I recognize in there, which I can then copy to help myself get started? So let's look at this one. On this landscape, what I can see if I look at this, and remember we have to oversimplify some parts of this. I look at this mountain range, and I don't necessarily see a mountain range, but I see a series of triangles next to one another. So let's see how these look. Might have one large triangle here, one triangle here, small triangle in the background there. OK, so we have that as an overview to help us get started. And OK, in the reflection in the water, we can see we have triangle, triangle. OK, now they're not going to fit exactly within these shapes, but it will help for us to say, OK, well, I need to get started with this. I need to draw this myself. How can I start with that? Let's fill a few more shapes in before we try and do our own version of it, though. Let's add the horizon line, which is the line that runs across, separating the land from the sea. We only see a portion of the horizon line because some of it gets cut off here by the trees. Let's try and see if we can block in some of those trees. Uh, to me, I would say this is kind of an irregular rectangle shape. There's maybe another one here on the mountain range. Maybe one here. And one last one there. Okay. And down here, this is kind of our final triangle. So what I'm going to do now is if I bring this slightly closer so you can see is I've started to block in where I think some of these shapes will go. Now what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and use this as a guide and start to put my own version together. So let's have a look how this goes. If I move this over here so you can see. Let's try and see how this goes. So I'm going to use this as a guide and see what I can do over here. I'm going to start by getting that horizon line put in and try and mimic the shapes I've added. Now I'm doing this in a pen so you can see, but when you do this yourself, you do it in a pencil and you press quite lightly so you can erase it afterwards. And let's get the big irregular rectangle over here. Let's look at adding this small triangular section down here. I'm not going to worry about any details just yet. It's a bit bigger. And let's look at the mountains. One big triangle. Two big triangles. A small triangle. To the reflections. And let's see two of them. One, two. And then this last space. Okay, let's have a look how we put together. So, Using our guide here with our shapes, what I've tried to do is I've tried to extrapolate the shapes that I put on here and I've tried to mimic them on here. So exactly as they are here, I've tried to place them over here. Now, is this going to get any awards and is it going to be placed in a gallery as a super realistic landscape? No, of course not, because this is just the first stage. Now, what I do is using that pencil, I'd go in and look at this a bit more closely and I try to get some more of the details in. So I don't have these big blocky shapes anymore, but I have, oh, let's look at these trees. I'll try and get some of the rounded shapes. Maybe if I look a little bit closer when I'm drawing the shapes, you can see, oh, it kind of looks like there's a semicircle there. Maybe there's another semicircle there. Okay, and I can start to add those in to flesh out and add detail to my, my replica drawing of it. Okay, but that is the concept expect. And that is the very simple idea of drawing with shapes demonstrated for you on this landscape piece. Good luck with trying it yourself. I hope it is something that helps you with your drawing.